Hi, my name is Tony. Everybody calls me Rhino. Sorry, Jess. And this is my grave story. So I grew up, um, my parents were part of Faith Family Fellowship. It was in Buffalo. So for me growing up until I was about 10, we were Friday afternoon, Saturday, Sunday church, free kids group, doing the, uh, going to the nursing homes. Like we grew up in that environment. Like, and then on, um, so like as my parents, we moved to Missouri when like 96 and my parents, they kind of fell apart and we ended up coming back to Buffalo and it just kind of stopped. Um, I had no idea what was going on anymore. I just, everything completely shifted. Everything was in an upheave. My father was in Missouri. My mother and my sisters were in New York. It was just, it was chaos. And it became anger. A lot of it was a lot of, was a lot of anger in my life. Like, stop going to church, stop being involved in anything. And I went that a few years, like I'm going to the military soon enough. Just it wasn't really where I was at. Fast forward into 2005, 2006, my aunt goes, hey, you should meet Jessica. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was like, well, give her my number and if she wants to call me, she can call me. I was like, that's how I'll leave this. And sure enough, she calls and then we just kind of proceeded from there. And we, we were together, so we met in 2006, we were, we, got married, had Anthony, got divorced, not even, we separated, not even two months after he was born. It was like, all right, this isn't working for us. We were apart for five years. And then one day she goes, why don't you come to a Mother's Day service with me? I was like, okay. And I could kind of feel like, all right, going back into the, to the church, going back into this, having that sense of like, all right. And then Jessica and I, we started spending more time together. We started dating again. We started doing more family things. And we actually, my, our son came to us and said, it's really nice to have you around, but are you gonna be around or do I have to still play this my house, your house game? It was like, that's when we really said, I was like, are we gonna do this? All right, we're gonna do this, but we gotta get married again. We gotta do it right. And so we did, we got, we did get married again. And it's kind of, and we, um, for me it was like, okay, if I want to be the father I'm supposed to be, you belong in a church. You got to find your, you got to find it. You have to set the place where you, you got to, you got to set your role and you have to find your place. You have to find that connection. You, you need this. Jesus was always around, but for me to say, okay, you're going to take the lead. That was probably, I was in the, sitting there, this disgusting, one of these work assignments, horrible bed written, bed blog written hotel. And I'm sitting there like, what am I doing in my life? How am I gonna be the father for my son? How am I gonna do this? And I just sat there and I just started praying. I was like, all right, God, I, I give. <laughs> you, you, I, 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 I see the message you're telling me and I can see the path that I'm going on and I can see just by the environment around me where I'm headed if I keep doing this. So I give. When we started coming here, we walk in and all of a sudden kind of have like that warm, it was just a warm feeling, warm feel, being greeted by people I've never met before. It's like, this is, there's something here we need to be a part of. And we both look at each other like, I think this is our church. <laughs> the first Sundays we came, just like, hey, next week there's a small group thing, you want to go check it out? And then we started in January and we did, we're, we're here we are now. Baptism to me, it's the, it's, washing away and it's just like the, when the rain comes it just you're taking away just what you were to become something better Jesus rose to give me life he gave he he died for my sins and he rose again to breathe the life into me